Hey, what's going on, everybody? Green here, and welcome to welcome back to another episode of the park. Uh, this time, we're gonna be hopefully winning our first match. Um, I'm gonna help me try and make this series a lot shorter, but either way, um, yeah, there's that. I gotta vote for a map really quick here. Anything but SG4, please. I'm just gonna stand like right here so people can get a screen if they want one. Um, either way, um. Oh god, I have a few things to talk about this episode. First of which, is that summer is coming up very soon. Um, by very soon I mean it's like, I get a, I get out of school in around a month or so. Um, everybody else probably gets out a bit earlier, but that's usually because my school usually goes like as one of the latest, so I'm not too surprised, honestly. I don't really care too much either. Um, obviously I can't wait for summer, but... Well, I can wait for summer, technically, if I'm saying this properly. Um, but yeah, summer is a while away. But ho thankfully, it's not far enough away that it's, um, it's gonna be super, like, annoying to get to. Because honestly, at this point, um, seniors are about to leave at my school in, like, a few days. So, I'm not too, too worried about, um... I'm not too worried about how the rest of the year is going to go, because it's very likely that um, teachers aren't really going to be trying to teach anything, especially since I'm a junior. Um, I can't say the same for the underclassmen, if you're an underclassman and you're watching this, or if you're not even in high school. Um, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so school's basically done for me, so that's pretty neat, because I honestly had it with this year. I mean, I had some pretty good classes, but... They all weren't my favorites, so I would have much rather preferred a few other things to happen. Um, thankfully, though, next year in my senior year, I have much better classes, so that's pretty neat. I also have a lot of healing right now. I feel really bad for cleaning that up. Oh well. Uh, iron swords? Nope. Alright, so. Let's see if we can't win this first match here. A rod, I will take that. Probably make a diamond sword as well. Um, I haven't played this game in a few days, so that, that would explain if I'm slightly rusty, hopefully. I'm gonna just quickly put Prot 3 on these boots. Oh, it's five levels, never mind, I won't. Um, <laughs> that's awkward. Can I put... probably can't put power on anything. Let's try, though. Yeah. Literally, like, half a level short. That sucks. Oh, people didn't loot this. Okay. Um. Alright. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, I sort of expected this to be looted, but I guess it's not. That's cool. Alright, so. Let's do that. Can put... Prot 3. Oh wait, I need to spam XP. Prot 3 on a piece. Can I make sharp 2? I can. Make a sharp 2 diamond. Um, diamonds, there you go. It's 4 levels, Jesus, dude. Okay. Anyway, um, there's that. Do this. Craft a few apples. I have so many apples, holy shit. Like, unless I get combo, there's no way I'm losing this game. Um, but yeah, either way. I do have a saddle and a few horse eggs here, so let's try and get something. Alright. I'm just gonna pearl this guy to get him out of the way. I missed, that's awkward. Oh my god, I suck at this game, I literally haven't played in so long. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I'm very confused as to what's happening right here. Okay, they're tag teaming me. Let's not do this. I'm also getting a few FPS drops because of the fact that I'm uh, recording in 1.7. Okay. Is that, and then let's stop this guy from getting his horse. Come back here, you. No, he's just gonna run until meet up. Okay. Oh, I shot him. Alright. Guess I'll take that. 
just do this. I can get power on my bow. Eat this. Power. That's not power. That's power. There you go. Um, so yeah, like, I stole the horse that I spawned. That's pretty great. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, what I meant to talk about in this episode was the Pokemon Sun and Moon stuff that came out recently. So if you don't want to have any spoilers of any kind about that, I suggest you turn away now. Um, I'll give you a few seconds to do so. So, uh, yeah, the new Pokemon. <laughs> um, Rowlet is obviously my favorite. I'm Team Rowlet, for starters, at least. Um, and I'm sorry, but the Moon Legendary is the most ugly legendary there is in the game at the moment. Uh, that, of course, stands for right now. So I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be. It might grow on me later, who knows. What the hell? Am I, like, invisible or something? Because these people cannot, like, see me, or they're just not trying. I think I might be invisible. No, I'm not. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so terrible. I haven't played in a few days. Anyway, uh, there's that. Uh, I guess I'll play a second game, because I didn't really get any of the topics in that I planned on getting in. Also, scores reset, so that sucks. Um, but yeah. So, Sun and Moon stuff, obviously the... Grass starter, grass flying starter in specific, Rowlet is my favorite. Um, I'm just gonna do this really quick. Um, but yeah, there's grass flying, Rowlet. There's fire, Litten, which is another fire cat, that's great. Um, and then there's Poplio, another seal. <laughs> like, <laughs> these starters are really nothing special in terms of Pokemon, at least uh, what they actually are. So, um, yeah, there's that. Poplio is my least favorite design. I'm sure it will grow on me, though, as it already has been. Uh, Rata means play, so I don't know what the hell the rest of that means. Um, either way, <laughs> um, Poplio is le my least favorite right now. Uh, Litten is my second favorite. Er, yeah, and then, obviously, my first favorite is the remaining one, which is Rowlet. Um, either way, there's that. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, and then there's the legendaries. I pref I obviously, honestly prefer the sun legendary, even though it is sort of a, um, Ente torta sort of type thing. It's like literally a mix between the owl from, or not the owl, the lion from 5th gen and the legendary from 2nd gen Ente. Um, so yeah, there's that. Did I put any armor on? I did not. Let's just nap that and get out of here, because I'm not trying to die anytime soon. But yeah, um, that's the sort of first thing that came to my mind when I saw the Sun Legendary. Is that it was sort of like an Entei, um, not really edit, I'd say more redesign. Um, although it did have, its eyes were sort of weird. Um, at least from what we saw from the game, so that might turn out to be something interesting, I don't know if it has anything to do with the plot. It probably does, knowing Pokemon. They usually try to circle the plot around the legendaries sometimes, so... Who knows? Um, either way, the location of the game as well, uh, it being like a tropical island is pretty cool. I'm not gonna say it's Hawaii, like everybody else has been saying, because it's not 100% confirmed to be Hawaii. It could be a mix of all the tropical islands, honestly, which is what I'm believing it is. Um, but I'd say it's also a very good chance of it being Hawaii, just specifically, who knows. I mean, I'm sure they'll tell us later, but I'm, they probably won't hide it for now, considering none of the info about the game really has been released. Except for the fact that recently I watched a video today that was a guy who went to the Japanese Pokemon website and, uh, sort of looked at the source code on the website and found that some of the starters rumored types are supposed to be, um, this is obviously another thing, so the final evolution types of the starters are supposed to be Owlet's, Rowlet's supposed to stay the same, um, Litten's final form is supposed to be ground fire, I think, and then Poplio's is supposed to be water fighting, so that's certainly something. Um, I just cleaned up again, so I'm probably gonna win this game now, just cause I cleaned up. Um, this guy's also gonna try and clean this, probably. I think, maybe. Oh, I need this healing. 
want this healing. No, I just threw it out. Okay, five capitals, that's fine. I just put the... There we go. Shoot at this guy, get him away. Get out of here, buddy. Prot three. Uh, player head. I've been shot. That actually scared the poop out of me for whatever reason. That was a guy on a horse there. That's great. Oh, I saw- this guy was in the last game that I played. He got cleaned up by the guy that I killed. Or he got killed by the guy that I cleaned up, rather. Oh my god. Oh my- he, he did so much damage to me, like... That's ridiculous how much damage he did. Oh, there's a man on the horse right there. Okay. That's cool. Bye. <laughs> Did he, like, try to clean me up and then realize that I saw him? I don't understand what happened there. I still don't get what this guy's doing. Whatever. I'm just gonna go over here and let him mind his own business if he wants. Oh, he's coming after me, okay. Anyway, sharp three. Put that on there. Uh, do I have any... I have a prop book? I do. Uh, what else can I do? I can craft gapples. Let's do that before I get shot here. Why is this guy- this guy's not even doing anything. Oh, no, this is not good. I cannot do anything right now, dude. I'm gonna steal this guy's horse. Bye! Well? Oh my god, his horse is weird. Or maybe it's just the fact that I'm not used to playing a 1.7, I don't know. Um, yeah, either way. This is something. I'm just gonna melee rush this guy, honestly. Oh, of course, getting off horses turns off your toggle sprint. Forgot about that. Alright, let's heal. Not today, buddy. Oh, he's so low. Fuck, dude. I know he's low, because he ran away. Oh, there's another guy right there. That's awkward. The hell? Snatch this kill. I literally did nothing for that, but I'll take it. This guy left... This guy has prop pants now? Where the hell did he get those? I have, yeah, I had full prop 3, so there was, like, no way that he was killing me. Um, either way, though, this is something. This is sort of a scattered episode, I apologize. Um, I haven't really recorded in a while, especially here on the park, where I've been <laughs> playing a, li a little bit uh, here and there. Um, but yeah, I hopefully I'm gonna get to doing these episodes two times a week at some point, maybe? Uh, I might record them- no, actually, I'm not gonna record them back-to-back, -back, because if I do, I'm gonna have literally nothing to talk about. Um, but yeah, I apologize for this episode being sort of random commentary, like, uh, I might do one episode like this per week, and then one episode where I do the cutcom style that I did in the last episode. Um, so hopefully that'll be a thing, um, but either way. Actually, another thing I can mention right now is that the park is finally pulling out of its pre-beta stage, so it's moving into the beta stage. Which means that uh, we're getting very close to full release time, boys. Which is a good thing, because I can't wait for the park to officially be released entirely. Because that means that it's going to be... Um, there's going to be a lot more slots, hopefully. And that means that there's also going to be a lot more players, maybe. Um, I don't know if that's for certain, but... Either way, <laughs> both of these people are running from me. All right. I mean, I can't blame them. I'm full diamond, so... Did he just pearl? He just pearled. Prowling isn't going to get you anywhere, buddy. His name's Undyne666, that's funny. Oh, there's four people. I did not realize this. That guy is very geared. Okay, this is going to be a fight. Come on. Oh, no. This guy's laggy. Okay, I won still. Anyway, um... Yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. This is sort of really quick, actually. This actually went by really fast. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.